you have such great taste and I love it. I really, really like, I'm admiring this right now. (laughs) I'm admiring you. Welcome back to the Save the Good Girl podcast. I am your host, Erica E. And you are listening to Shot of Erica. For those who are new, welcome to your first luxury listening experience where I give you quality content for your eyes and your ears. And why do I say the eyes? Because I also have a blog and you can follow me on social media, savethegoodgirl.com. And all of my social handles are Save the Good Girl. And in the Shot of Erica episodes, what this really is, is kind of like your shot of green juice, tequila, or espresso. It gets you exactly where you need to be in a short period of time. And I do the same but for your mind. All of the SOE episodes are 20 minutes or less, and it's perfect for your breaks, morning walks, when you're getting ready with the kids, you're having a little moment to yourself, you're at the park, whatever, it gets you exactly where you need to be. And I'm really excited about this particular topic. I'm very passionate about this topic. And today we are going to talk about how do you journal? Why, Why should you journal and the benefits to journaling? So I know that it might sound a little like, yeah, like I know how to journal. I could just get a notebook and my pen and go. But I do find that there's a lot of resistance for some people when it comes to journaling because it's a little too mindful. You may not want to process your emotions in that way. There's a lot of different thoughts surrounding it. So I really wanted to do an episode about it because I love it. My journal is my best friend. Like I get excited. Like I, I, I'm i like, okay, I need to go home to write to my journal. Like I need to write in my journal. Like I have to put this in my journal. Like it's like I have to talk to my best friend. Like that's my bestie. And I do see a lot of benefits when I write and I'm looking at it as my personal history book. Like this is my book. This is my growth. This is my development. And also sharing a lot of great things that I've experienced and how I felt, what I wore. Like, I just love it. I love like putting all of these pieces together and learning about myself. And I wanted to share that with you because this is Save the Good Girl. And we're all about enhancing and enforcing and really improving everything that's amazing within us. So this is a great accessory. Journaling is great. It's a really, really great resource. And we're going to get into some benefits to it. So how do you start journaling? Let's talk about the preparation first. I believe that you should make it fun. (laughs) You should make it fun. Get a notebook that really speaks to you. Get a pen in your favorite color. Like I journal in a pink pen and I had fun notebook shopping. Like I go to TJ Maxx, I go to Marshalls, I go or whatever store that's near you and whatever country you're in that has a really nice notebook that you enjoy looking at that makes you happy or you can order it online. If you love black, get a black notebook. If you love white, get a white notebook. If you need a positive saying, get that. If you love a cartoon character, get that. Whatever that's going to be aesthetically pleasing for you, I I highly, highly recommend that you do that. Or you can also turn it on your phone. You can do it in your notes section. You can get a fun app. You can do it on your iPad. You can do it on your computer. But I find that, and I do love stationery, but I do find, and you could be, you, you could just be black and white. Like you don't have to be fancy, but I do find that it gets me excited when I'm having fun with it. Like my journal is almost done right now and I cannot wait to use my new one. Like I'm so excited for my new journal. (laughs) So finding what is your journaling style, figure it out. Do you prefer to write? Try it. If you're like, "Mm, this is not for me. Do you prefer to use your computer and type it up? Do you prefer to use your phone or Do you prefer voice journaling? Sometimes I do that as well, where I don't feel like writing, but I have a lot to say. And I just want to say between me and me, and I just go in on the voice notes to myself. So that could also be an option for you as well, where you don't have to necessarily write it down. Another thing is that's very important is the the location. So where are you writing your journal entry? Where are you saying it? I highly, highly recommend that you do it where you are alone in a private space. So is that in your room? Is that in your car? Is that outside in the park where nobody's there? Like find an area that you enjoy. So I enjoy writing in my journal entry in my room, sometimes in my living room and also outside. I do love writing outside. There's something different about writing outside. And you know where I always bring my journal with me every single time on vacation. There's something about writing by the beach or by the water. It's just a different kind of reflective space. So I bring my journal with me on vacations all the 
time, <laughs> all the time. So figuring out what is the location? What do I feel good in? Where do I feel good in this place? Do I want to do it in my vehicle? Do I want to go to a coffee shop? Do I want to try something different? Do I like to do this, you know, in my kitchen? Whatever it is. I would say try different spaces and see where you feel most comfortable. If it is in your room, do you need a new pillow or a new blanket? Or maybe you have to get a new desk where you can write? Like make it comfortable for yourself. Make it comfortable. Something else I would recommend is to use your phone to take bullet points of your feelings because we go through a lot during the day or the week and you don't you may not remember every single thing so what I like to do is take some notes down on my phone and then I transfer it to my journal or I will voice note it like I'll do a voice recording of myself in that moment if I'm alone but I would say if you felt some type of way or something came to you a revelation definitely take notes so that you can write it down because I promise you you may not remember everything another suggestion that I have is you should keep like memorabilia like if you went to a concert with someone you had a great time keep the receipt you know keep any um like cards or anything that could fit in a journal something like very small a ticket or something like keep that because that really adds a different level of nostalgia when you're going through your book and you're like oh I remember this so what I started doing and I started doing this I would say a few years ago I started actually like keeping monumental things like I remember my cousin bought me a bouquet of roses when I started my job a few years ago and I kept the beautiful note that she gave me and I still have it till this day and I remember going to the museum with my friend and I just remembered that fun day just from that from that receipt so keeping a receipt something of value like you'll be surprised how how excited that makes you that makes you feel and I would say once you kind of get those things in order now it's time to think about writing and when it comes to writing or voice noting but in this case I'm going to talk about writing you need to do micro steps start with one to two minutes of writing start there and I just want to add there's no rules to journaling you can do whatever you want how long you want you can say whatever you want you can you don't need to edit everything just write how you feel you do not have to worry about spell check this is only for you and you want to make sure that you put this book in a place that is sacred that nobody will have access to because these are your own personal thoughts you can write as many topics as you need to something else that I do when I'm very angry because I can't like write full sentences I do bullet journal journaling I just write bullet points I'm mad about this I did this I did this I did that <laughs> like just straight bullet points and I was just like yeah this is what's gonna work today sometimes journaling is one sentence one time I journaled and my journal entry was I am pissed today <laughs> that's it it was the date and just that and sometimes that's enough. And when you open it up, you might be like, dang, what was I going through? <laughs> what was I going through that day? Who did it? Who did it? So I was reading an article on Healthline and they had some really, really great reasons as to why journaling is great. And I wanted to go into some benefits of journaling. So some of them are, it helps reduce stress. When you are overwhelmed, they always say this too. When you're overwhelmed, you take a couple of deep breaths and then you start to journal, start writing. And something as easy as writing three things that you are grateful for. It could be, I'm grateful for the sun, I'm grateful for the moon, and I'm grateful for Uber Eats. I don't know. Like, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be too deep. You don't have to make it too thought provoking. But think about three things you're grateful for or just writing exactly how you feel. Another great benefit to journaling is that it encourages space for negative thoughts. If you're going through a lot, sometimes you may not want to say it to other people. You can do that all with your bestie in your notebook or you could say it out loud. You get to consider all of your feelings in a more objective way. So it's not just like, oh, I'm just mad. It's like you can explain why why you're mad, what happened. And then and when you do that, it can also help you figure out some action steps. That's another benefit. So now you're angry and it's like thinking about, well, this is why I was upset. I feel this way. But what can happen is you start to question like, why did I feel this way? Why did I feel this way? Another benefit is that it helps you get to know you. What better person to share your story than you? Do you know that recently a lot of people who are doing like um, the biopics and documentaries like these celebrities about their lives, they want to be involved. Nobody can tell the story better than them. It's about their life. 
So what better way to have your own personal history book or history book better than you? You are the writer. You are literally and physically the writer of your story. And how beautiful it would be for you to recount a wonderful day that you had and why. Or you saw, you went to the park and you saw these trees and it it was beautiful to you. Or you did have a bad day and you spoke about that and you're like, wow, I really overcame a lot. This is a great place for you to document all of your progress. It's a great place for you to document just how you feel, your anger, processing all of your emotions. There are so many wonderful benefits to journaling. And what I love about it, y'all, you do it the way you want. I'm just giving suggestions. You don't have to listen to anything or you could be like, oh, let me try this one thing. But you can do whatever you want. The whole point of me doing this is to encourage you to just start writing. Start writing because when you are older, you get a chance to read your history book, your history book and see all the things you've done. And it's just different when you have all the details. It's very different. Another thing I would say about journaling is that the another benefit, I should say, is that you get to really self-reflect on you. And I would say when you are self-reflecting about you or others, whether it's anger, sadness, confusion, whatever emotion that you're feeling, you need to write this in detail. So when I journal, I say things like, today I made breakfast, I made eggs, I had some coffee. Afterwards, I decided that I really wanted to go to the park. On my way to the park, I was really thinking about my life and certain things I want to change. So I'm very like, I I do it in a storytelling way. And I'm not saying you have to do that. But when you are going in, you are probably going to give more details anyway. But the more details you give, the better. The more details you give, the better, because it really allows you to let it out. That's another benefit of journaling. You get a chance to let it out. You get a chance to just be free, be with your own thoughts, your own emotions. There's no one there to edit you, stop you, tell you you're talking too much or you're talking too slow or anything. This is your book. It's all for you. Journaling allows you to really process yourself in so many different ways. So as I've stated earlier, how do you start journaling? Sometimes you may not be able to just start writing a sentence. That might be too much for you. Guess what is out there? Journal prompts. You can buy a book that has journal prompts for you. And a a journal prompt, an example would be, my favorite childhood memory is blank. My favorite song is blank. It's my favorite song because blank. So you can either buy a notebook that has the journal prompts for you, or you can Google journal prompts to give you like a start, to give you a fresh start. You can also, as I've stated earlier, give your, put yourself on a timer. If you just feel like I'm stuck, I don't know what to say. Give yourself one minute. You know what? I'm going to start with what I ate for breakfast today. Start there. I'm going to start with what I did this morning. Start there. I'm going to start with what kind of job I would like because I'm not happy with my position right now. I'm going to start with what kind of partner I would like. You do not have to go back to the Rolodex (laughs) if you don't want to. You don't have to go back. You can, but you don't have to. So think about those things in terms of the prompts. If you are finding yourself in a difficult spot to start writing, I know that it can be a bit overwhelming and you're like, what do I say? What do I do? There are no rules, my love. You can do whatever it is that you want. And I really, really feel like for me, I tend to figure out a lot of things when I journal. I write it out and I read it back and I'm like, wow, do I really feel this way? Or I could say, you know what? I've said this a couple of times. What am I going to do about it? I've said this too many times. Clearly, this is a problem. What am I going to do about it? You also want to think about how often do you want to journal? Also, not a rule. I would love to journal every day. I don't because I'm doing so much in a day. I journal once a week and I do dumping. And what dumping means is I dump the whole week. (laughs) So I have a lot of reflections and I have a lot of thoughts and I have a lot of revelations. But what seems to help me is I download this app called Google Keep, K-E-E-P. I download that app 
And I give myself bullet points of what's going on in a week, especially if it's something heavy that I really don't want to forget. Or let's say I'm triggered by something when I was driving. I like to write it down. And when I have that space to write, I write. And usually, y'all, when I write, I write for hours. I'm talking about three to four hours. I'm talking about eight pages front and back. And that's when I really, really am going in, 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 in. Sometimes I do bullet point journaling. Sometimes I give my journals um, entries prompts. No, not prompts. I'm sorry. I give my journal entry uh, titles. So I would say museum day because it helps me navigate my journal a little better. Or I would say, um, I would say coffee date with whatever friend, or I would say revelation about blah, 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 because it helps me navigate it. Do I do it all the time? No, because there's no rules to journaling. I could do what I want. (laughs) I could do what I want. So when you guys are considering journaling, I want you to open, look at it with an open mind. Don't make it daunting. It's not anything that has any rules. I really want to provide some options and different perspectives of ways of looking at it and the benefits to it. But you can start today. You can start with just getting whatever book you like or writing it on your iPad or on your phone or using your voice. I find that during some really, hmm, when I'm really angry or if I'm really going through a lot of emotions where I'm just too angry to write, I find that part to be very, very helpful for me. So having a place where you are starting is major and it really, really helps you navigate you. You are healing yourself when it comes to journaling. You are finding answers when it comes to journaling. You are really being present and mindful when it comes to journaling. Journaling is mindfulness in motion. That's really what it is. You are mindful, you are thinking, you are processing, and you are analyzing what's going on with you or others or others. I am a huge, huge advocate for journaling. I would love to know how you guys decided to start or if you do journal did you find this episode valuable as well did you learn something from it like hmm I want to try that you know maybe trying a journal prompt maybe timing yourself maybe journaling somewhere else and not just in your home maybe finding a new coffee shop make it an experience make it fun make it light start and stop whenever and however you want you can do one sentence you can do bullet points you can do a page you can do 20 pages just start doing it for you. There's so many revelations that I've discovered when I started journaling. It is insane. But with my journal, y'all, oh my God, I cannot wait to use my new one. I journal with my pink pen and I like journaling with green pens too. I like journaling with green pens. I like journaling in coffee shops. I like journaling outside. I do enjoy voice journaling, but I do write more than I speak because I feel like I talk to my friends and I just love having the opportunity to just talk to my journal like it's my best friend and I hope that you can utilize your journal as your best friend too I do have an iPad I'm so excited to start using it and I've heard that there's wonderful apps on there like beautiful apps where it's like very pretty and very nice and well designed as well I did get the pen I know I'm extra. Did I have to get the pen? No, but I got it. (laughs) I did get the pen and have a journaling companion. You could journal in silence. You could journal with music. I pick and choose what I want. Sometimes I want to hear some like really smooth neo soul. Sometimes I don't want to hear anything. Sometimes I just want to be in complete silence. Sometimes I have a sermon in the background. Sometimes I have like a whole prep. Like I have my gratitude journal, which is something separate from my other journal. And that's the thing too. You can have like different journals. Um, So I do have like three or four. (laughs) I have a self-care journal, my regular journal for everything, gratitude journal. And again, I love stationery. So... (laughs) That's why. But make it a scene. Like, get your coffee, get your tea, put your music, create a vibe, go outside. Ow, that rhymed. I didn't mean for it to rhyme, but we ain't mad. Go outside, create a vibe, be in your car, um, do whatever works for you. But I promise you, you're going to see so many tremendous benefits when you actually start recording yourself. And I don't mean that just with your voice, I mean that with documentation and see your growth, see how you feel. And get some answers. You actually have more answers within you more than you know. So I really hope that you start today. And of course, I want you to share that with me. Let me know if you started journaling, uh, if you were inspired by this episode, or maybe you 
already been journaling and you're like, you know what? I kind of like this. It was inspiring me to start again. I want to know everything. I cannot wait to talk to you guys again. I'll see you on Friday for the next episode on the Save the Girl Girl podcast.